Hey there, so today we're going to be talking about patterns inside of Autodesk Inventor HSM. Now the patterns that we're going to be talking about today are milling patterns. So milling patterns are extremely useful, especially if you have a length of stock that you're going to be using, but your component or your part is only going to be a certain amount of that stock, right? So in this case, we are going to be wanting to create multiple components out of that stock that we're starting off with. And in that case, patterns would be one of the best ways to create those multiple parts. I'm going to start off by adding a few tool paths to give us the basic shape and a good starting point for this part. We just added the facing operation. Now we're adding a finishing strategy on the outside of the part. We can go ahead and simulate these tool paths, make sure that everything looks good so far. And it does. So now what I want to focus on then is creating the essential shape of the component that we have. Now there's multiple ways to do this. I'm going to choose to use a 2D contour with a wrapping feature associated with it. So instead of actually creating or plunging, doing one single pass along the edge, I'm going to choose to ramp down into the part. So now that we've added the 2D contour ramp feature or tool path, let's go ahead and pattern that along the edge of that part. All right, so choosing the direction, adding a spacing for the next pattern, and then how many instances of that pattern. All right, so you do have a couple options here. If you want to add an additional direction, if you want to keep the original tool path that you originally started with, which we do. And if you want to reverse which component the tool is going to start on. In this case, I don't want to reverse that direction. Now we have a couple options here, right? So we do have the order by tool. Order by tool is essentially going to machine all operations in the pattern that use that current tool before changing tools. So you want to be careful with this one, especially if you have a drill operation, then you have different operations in between, and then you have a drilling op the same drilling operation at the end. Uh, it's going to want to do those first, the two drilling operations first. Second one is going to be order by operation. Now this is going to machine all occurrences of each operation in the pattern before changing to the next operation. Now this is usually going to be your go-to selection for the tool path or the milling pattern. And then of course you have the preserve order. It's going to machine all the operations in each instance of the pattern before moving to the next instance, right? So between order by operation or the preserve order, those two are usually a good operate or a good way to start off your tool paths. Like I said, I'm going to keep order by operation and apply that to all the different tool paths that I'm going to be creating. So now we're going to be adding some drilling operations to create those holes. Again, notice that it got created outside of my pattern. I can always just drag it up and add it to my current pattern. Adding a few more holes to the pattern and then clicking or selecting the pattern just to see or visualize what we have so far. Let's go ahead and create a simulation of this. Fast forwarding some of these tool paths, notice that again, the order by operation is keeping or milling out all the tool paths in order. Doing the holes next. So that's been how to create cam patterns inside of Autodesk Inventor HSM. Hope it helps.